Yesterday, owners of tractors used by the government to assist with pumping out excessive water during the floods and the quarantine met with media houses to express their disappointment with the Minister of Agriculture, who they claim did not stand by his agreement to pay the $5,000 per hour for the period the tractors were used. Narima Ali reports. A number of farmers from Blackbush Polder and along the Quarantine Coast traveled to New Amsterdam to meet with media operatives when they found out that their rate of payment does not match the rate promised to them by the Minister of Agriculture, Mr. Zulfikar Mustafa. The farmers were taken on to use their services via their drainage pumps to relieve the water levels along the Quarantine Coast during the incessant rainfall that led to floods across Region 6. The work period was completed and the tractor operators learned that they will be paid a rate lower than they agreed upon. The disgruntled tractor operators spoke with the media yesterday, August 9, 2021, and explained thoroughly what transpired. We had a meeting with Mr. Zulfika Mustafa uh, a couple of weeks ago on agreeing to receive $5,000 per hour. He was with us and he said, that's okay, we are willing to pay. We were made to understand that the NDIA personnel bodies, after calculating their budgeted sum for this, uh, per this present expenditure, or what shall we say, the flood water relief business, when they were explaining to us, asking that we, you know, we drop the rate from 5,000 to 4,000. My uh, uh, colleagues, uh, from 5 to 4 is going to be hard on us. We paid a large sum for a security purposes for fueling. At the time of working, the fuel price escalated exactly at the hour. We could have not tell the gas station man drop the price. No, no, no. The price was such and we agreed at it and we were free. And we were working with an expectation to receive this $5,000 an hour at the closure of our pro work program. That was 66-year-old Chatterpaul Shivlal of Blackbush Polder, who continued by relating that they expected their monies, as promised, to get back on their feet following the massive floods that damaged their agricultural produce. As the uh, tract operators are looking out with great hope and expectation to receive that exact fees, because, listen, we, we had flood in Blackbush. We had flood in, in Yakasari, a Johanna and Mabikuri, everything wiped off. The rice crop gone, the cash crop, the livestock and the farm gone. And we were depending that we, uh, we cash a little money to come and pump a little water outside here and we're going to sort of... Another tractor operator from Blackbush, Diaraj Mangal, explained that he is looking forward for his money because he has outstanding debts to repay. And I had came out um, the... Fifth, the 5th of June to pump water at Babujan and I brought three tractors to work which um, the three tractors were working on the outfall. The, the pump then was working like 23 hours a day because we take out an hour for surfacing and I think that this sum of money is a stress for us, a stress for me because I have installment to pay for my machine that I bought and the fuel, the fuel that I bought, I bought um, credit which I have to pay interest and I think the, the government have to do something about this and I can't work for 4000 per hour. Rohit Harinarain, who is also from Blackbush Polder, noted that this decision by the government will affect his willingness to assist if the need arises again. I'm going to think twice because this one I'm going to do here, I'm going to try for rob. This one, you to rob them, I'm going to try to rob it because they promised you 5000 now they want to give you 4000 And that's not fair. As I agreed, we decided to collect the 5000 We not decided to collect no 4000 Because if me got to collect 4000 I mean to say me last 2136 and a lot of money. Because, because I come out with um, one of my son, that tractor, and six other. Then get away over a month and something done already, so me they expect, me expect like they won't go till Christmas, so me don't know when they're going to pay this money. And me they go with no small pump, it's short 20 inch pump, then me go with. 30 year old Delon Bagot from Philippi explained that he is not satisfied with the decision made by the government. 
I worked 508 hours and and when I saw the paper yesterday, I saw 395 hours. That's the verification paper? Yeah. How many tractors were added? Uh, for me, it was one tractor for me. You remember you had to pay for fuel, which at the time fuel was raised. And um, I spoke to Mr. Amagon yesterday and he told me the fuel raised, but it only raised at $200, I guess, but $200 is still money. Because you check every liter is $200, check how, how many money more it raised. If if now things like that happen again, you can look for for your money in front than going and make a wise choice to go and help than you know. But it seems like it seems like the public assists the other public in, in uh, instead the government assists the public. The farmers are pleading for the relevant authorities to deliver on their promises to pay them their agreed rate per hour. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.